he then uh, responded to that asking just exactly what or exactly why I what flaws I saw in religion that made me denounce it. I don't have the comments that I accidentally deleted it, but deleted it, but here is my response. Oh, sorry, I accidentally pressed the block user button instead of the reply, but I got a chance to read it. Anyways, to answer your question, there is a lot of evidence against the creation, but what is more intriguing is the lack of evidence. There is a saying by Dorofen, he says, the lack of evidence is evidence for the lack of existence, or something like that. It doesn't mean it doesn't exist, but it doesn't show that it exists either. The point here is that without evidence, the Christian religion can no more prove that they're right any more than a, than a Muslim trying to prove that their religion is right. I've had a good debate with all sides, and it always comes down when they run out of arguments to this. They start throwing out words and phrases from their religion in desperation. However, this is no way this is in no way proof of the existence of their God, because the words they are taught complies with their God. It would make it a circular argument. That's why rather than religion rather that's why rather than religions fight each other with relig with reason, they fight each other with insults and misconceptions that rallies anger and fear of the other sides. This is only the minimum of what I have to say about the lack of evidence. Now, to cover the evidence for the non-existence of God, however, it doesn't mean, like I said, that he doesn't exist, only that the possibility of his existence is as likely as a teapot orbiting Jupiter. First, I want to get out of the way that scientific theories are not actually theories, as most would see it. Scientists used to keep the word theory to signify their humbleness to the truth, and that's if the possi impossibility that the theory has a minor flaw, they are able to change it unlike all religions. When religion comes with evidence, comes across contradictory evidence to their beliefs, they make up excuses such as, you've taken it out of context, or it isn't taken literally. Now finally for the evidence against religion, in particular the Christian religion since I know most about that religion. 1. Evolution. The evidence is undeniable. Not only are we able to see the transition from species to species in fossils, we are able to see it and even replicate it. In labs, bacteria are infused with insulin-producing plasmid, thus producing a new variation of bacteria that, increase, that produces insulin as the bacteria replicates. For diabetics, that's called microevolution. Macroevolution, which is the evolution between species, is simply microevolution over a long period of time. I won't go into too much detail in this general over overview, but you can search for it. 2. The Bible says the earth is 6,000 years old. When most Christians come up, come up against something in the Bible that is against modern knowledge, they say, they say it isn't literal. They use the excuse for everything contradictory to modern belief, whether it be for more brutal laws in the Bible, such as kill all those who works on a Sabbath day and kill all women found to be non-virgins before they marry or kill all those disobedient children. Most Christians says they aren't literal, but the problem is how do they know what should be taken literally or not? 3. Scientific, new scientific research has calculated that something can in fact come from a philosophical nothing rather than a literal nothing because really there is no such thing as nothing as calculated by math. Quantum fluctuations emit emitting from this philosophical nothing has the capacity or capability to produce universes. Yes, multiple universes, each with its own laws of physics, seemingly from nothing. This is getting too long, so I'll stop here. Everything I mentioned here is the bare minimum of what I have to say about the flaws I found in Christianity. And that's the, red, the last reply.